Now, they didn't boo him, but it was some way from a standing ovation. Instead, delegates to the TUC conference in Bournemouth met Ed Miliband's low-key speech with what you might call polite indifference. His message, that he wants to reform radically the way unions affiliate their members to the Labour Party, has brought warnings that it will cost the party millions of pounds. Our political correspondent Michael Crick reports from Bournemouth. It was billed as the great showdown, Miliband versus the unions, unions whose members had got him elected. <laughs> he won't withdraw, he told them, his plans to reform Labour's union links, to let individual trade unionists choose to join Labour rather than be enrolled on bloc. Anything that's difficult is a risk. But I believe the bigger risk is carrying on as we are. Because after all, it's you who've been telling me year after year that the Labour Party isn't sufficiently connected with the lives of working people. That's why we have to have the courage to change. It's the right thing to do. Change can happen. Change must happen. And I am absolutely determined that change will happen. No approval, no dissent, not a squeak, just silence. And they seemed uninspired by the speech as a whole, only aroused when he pledged to ban certain zero-hours contracts. We're going to end zero-hours contracts, the abuse of zero-hours contracts, where people are actually doing regular hours but get a zero-hours contract not a regular contract. We will end the exploitation of zero-hours contracts in this country. Outside the hall, a Tory party press officer portrayed Miliband, asking Please Unite break. leader Len McCluskey more. for more cash. I'm uh, here, here to ask Len for more you're money. Sent, you're sent here by the Conservatives? He's, uh, we, I backed down over are the you on, are, you on a, are you on a zero-hours uh, contract? <laughs> I backed down are over the Are you on a zero-hours contract? Uh, Later, I was told not. Mr McCluskey, who broadly backs Miliband's union reforms, praised the speech. So you're friends again now, are you? Yes, yes, of course we are. We, uh, we're despite Falkirk? Despite Falkirk, despite any differences I have with Ed on other things, of course we're friends. And I but he seemed to get a pretty frosty reception. No, I didn't think so. I thought he got a very warm uh, reception. Well, not well, very when, warm. When the, the union proposals... Uh, we met with stony silence, even though you're, you're quite supportive on that one. Well, I, 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 got, I, I suspect if you asked Scad, he'd, uh, he'd be quite uh, pleased, maybe surprised at the well, reception. people didn't heckle. <laughs> well, he, there was no heckling, there was no booing. There was, I thought he was treated with respect and warmth. Maybe that's what this speech actually needed, a bit of heckling, a bit of booing, to turn it into one of those dramatic, symbolic, memorable moments that we've seen in the past when Labour leaders have stood up to their parties and told them what to do. Instead, Ed Miliband risks making very little impact with the voters and at the same time losing much of his union cash and getting all the aggravation and distraction. And Mr Miliband's made it clear he's not yet committed to reducing the union's power in the Labour conference or in electing Labour leaders. Are you going to reform the, the fact that Half the votes at the Labour conference are union votes. A third of the votes in the Electoral College are union votes. Are you going to bring those figures down as well? I'd say it's one step at a time. Of course, Ray Collins will look in the process that we're undertaking at all of the issues and any implications. But we're embarked on an absolutely massive reform uh, in the reform that I'm talking about. It's obviously a reform that not everybody supports. It's been described by Tony Blair, as I think, as a revolutionary reform. So it's one step at a time. We'll concentrate on this reform, but obviously we'll look at any other issues that arise. Ed Miliband left to sell his plans again at Labour's own conference two weeks from now, when Lord Collins will reveal how the changes might work. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Bournemouth.